Hi everybody, Martin here. Thank you for joining me once again this week. Um, thank you very much for your comments um, and queries and feedback on last week's project, which was the fountain pen. Um, really nice to have um, uh, some comments and stuff, and I hope I've managed to get back to everybody. This week, we're kind of going a bit old school. We're going back in time a little bit to days of yore, when ink cartridges hadn't been used, or hadn't been invented rather, and we're going to look at how to turn a dip pen like this. Closed end, single piece with um, a gold interchangeable nib. Yeah, um, and there's a, there's a coffee grain or coffee grind um, inlay in there as well. So thank you very much to um, Tom, the Acolyte Turner, for um, for showing how to do a coffee grind inlay. Um, I really liked what you did on the bottom of uh, your bowl there, Tom, and I've um, just uh, adapted it and used it in this dip pen. Um, I hope you enjoy the uh, the dip pen project. Um, it's the same finish um, as last week's fountain pen, so it's a, um, a variation on a tradi traditional, a normal or a usual or a common CA glue finish, um, just finished off with some uh, canuba wax and beeswax turned from a single piece of rowan. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy it, and here is how to turn a rowan dip pen. lump of rowan wood um, chucked up ready to um, drill out with a 7mm hole uh, to make the dip pen. Now the dip pen kit comes with a 7mm tube which is uh, essentially half of a slimline pen kit. The insert for the pen tube that slides in there and then the nib itself um, and then the nib itself interchangeable can slide in and out of um, in and out of the sleeve for it but having turned um, just a couple of these before um, I find that this particular tube is too long so I use a smaller tube or cut this one down um, I use a smaller tube um, which comes from um, the craft pro kits Christmas decoration um, kit so I use that tube and I've marked off on the 7mm drill the length that I need it to be. So I'm going to drill out this hole and then um, I can get it onto um, the mandrel and turn it down. So I only need to go in as far as the mark or as far as the tape. The, um, there's the blank glued up and squared off. Now, um, I use a um, an old mandrel with a uh, two Morse taper, um, and I turn turn these uh, dip pens on my main lathe rather than the pen lathe, mainly because I don't really want to buy um, um, a one Morse taper mandrel and then cut the end off it like I have with this one. So I've cut the end off so it can slide inside the blank like so. So I just sit that in there so there's a little gap in between the spacer and the wood. There, look. Oh, yeah, and at the end of the, the mandrel um, I've ground down to um, a bit of a point but it's flat on both sides. So when I give it a belt with the hammer jabs into the wood at the top of the uh, at the top of the tube there we go so there's the 
there it is on there. It's nice and firm. So now I can bring up the um, I can bring up the tool rest and the live center. Like so. A little bit of pressure. And now I can turn it. And just like normal pens, um, I only use two tools being the roughing gouge and the spindle gouge. And the process is, is exactly the same <coughs> initially um, for a dip pen as it is for um, a normal pen. So I need to start by turning it round. round <clears throat> and now I need to shape it. Um, now I want to have a fairly a fairly wide nib end which is over here tapering down not to a point um, at the end of the pen but just so it's um, maybe, maybe five mil with a little round um, over the top. So I'll just get the shape going. What I think I will probably do on this particular pen is, well you'll see. There we go. That's very nice that. Now, before I take the tailstock away to turn over, to turn the end round, um, what I thought I would do that would be quite a nice touch would be to add three lines of um, an inlay up here, um, which I'm going to use my point tool for. So I'm just going to make three lines just in there and then rub in um, an inlay which I will show you in a minute. There we go, right, so hopefully you can see the three lines there all in focus. Um, and I've got here coffee grinds. Now I have to thank uh, Tom, the Acolyte Turner, um, for putting me on to um, a coffee bean, uh, coffee bean inlay. So. A little bit of towel just underneath because I'm going to just start to fill. Actually, I need another glove on. So I'm going to start to fill the um, the inlay with a CA glue. like so, and then sprinkle the beans, the grinds on, so it fills up, Fill, fills up the, um, the lines that I've put in. carefully with the spindle gouge just cut back the heap of the grind like so Thank you. 
the net. That looks really nice. Yeah, very nice. Right, I'm going to finish um, taking back this. I want it a little bit thinner before I do, um, before I turn the end of the pen round. So I'll do that and then I'll come back. Now, I've got the pen as thin as I want it to be. And I've now got to turn the end round. So I need to take away the tailstock and then just round off round off the end of the wood um, <clears throat> which is easier said than done trust me Starting with 150 grit, um, I will hopefully take out the, the last remaining bit of the uh, the end of the live centre. spin. <coughs> 
and squirt with the activator. You really don't need very much. And then I wipe the activator off. And carry on sanding from where I left off, which was um, 240. So the next piece I need is 320. And then, hopefully, if you haven't managed to stick the mandrel to the pen, you can slide the pen off and then just touch up the end of the pen with some 600 grit paper, like so. And then your tip, well, not, not your tip, but your tip sleeve should just slip in like so. Now what I like to do is just give that a little tap with a hammer as well. So there's the end of the pen. Then you can take your nib and slide it into place. And there we have your finished dip pen. It's rather nice, I like that. It's uh, quite, uh, quite chunky, there's a little... There's a little ridge at the end there um, where you can rest where you can rest your fingers and the coffee grain inlay in there as well and a gold nib. I've got some other nibs as well which um, uh, which I can use which I bought from eBay um, and there we go. There is the dip pen. Yeah, happy with that. Many thanks for watching this week, everybody, um, and thank you all for your recent comments and queries and, and feedback on all of my videos, not just on this channel, but also the other one, uh, Martin's Bazaar. Um, if you do feel so inclined, then please do subscribe. Um, I do like to, uh, to welcome all of my new subscribers, so if you have subscribed recently, thank you very much. I hope you're finding all of my little projects interesting and entertaining uh, yeah, please do leave comments um, and I always try and get back to you if I possibly can but for now thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the Rowan dip pen bye for now <laughs>